Hey everyone, Micah here with ebikeschool.com, and today we're doing another Q&A video. This time the question comes from Renato Mercurio, who asks, some conversion kits offer the option to choose between thumb throttles and handlebar, or twist throttles. What are their pros and cons? So this is a great question. As you guys know, for all of my Q&A videos, if you just put a question down below in the comments, if I choose your question to make a video about, I'll send you a free copy of one of my books, either DIY Lithium Batteries, DIY Solar Power, The Ultimate Do-It-Yourself E-Bike Guide, or Electric Motorcycles. So Renato, just let me know which one of those books you'd like and where to send it. And everyone else, just put your comments down below and hopefully I'll make a video about your question. All right, so now let's get to the question at hand. There are actually three common types of throttles out there. There's the thumb throttle, there's a full twist throttle, and there's a half twist throttle, which as the name implies is just half of the handlebar end. Each of these types of throttles of course has their pros and cons, and this is really a great question because the throttle type that is right for you is really such a personal question, so you have to weigh those pros and cons to see what fits you best. Now, I'm not gonna tell you which one is my favorite until the end of the video, because I wanna try and keep my bias out of this as much as I can, but you're free to guess which one I like best and I'll let you know at the end. Let's start with the thumb throttle. Now the thumb throttle has a number of advantages over the twist throttle and the half twist throttle. First of all, if you have a bike that has twist shifters, you're basically only limited to a thumb throttle. You can put a twist throttle on a bike with twist shifters, but it's really gonna be annoying. You have to reach over the throttle each time you wanna twist. It's, it's not a great situation. So if you have twist shifters, you're pretty much stuck with a thumb throttle. But thumb throttles have a lot of advantages. For one, you're not gonna get that sore wrist. Some people complain that when you use a half twist or a full twist throttle, after you're going in a straight line for a while and your wrist is you know, putting pressure on the throttle, it can get sore. So for those types of people, you're gonna prefer a thumb throttle. Thumb throttles are also usually smaller and they just put less clutter onto the handlebars. They don't take up the whole end of the bar and they even let you use your original handlebar grips or to put on accessory handlebar grips since they don't actually replace the handlebar ends. That said, there are some downsides to thumb throttles as well. For one, your thumb can get tired over time, especially if you're in an area where you're just doing full speed straight ahead for a long time. Uh, another thing is that in cold environments, sometimes the thumb can get kind of cold. I know that sounds weird, but I lived in Pittsburgh when I went to college and I rode an e-bike with a thumb throttle and in the dead of winter when it was you know, well below zero and I'd be riding around with uh, my fingers nicely wrapped around the handlebar, but that one thumb down there in the sort of the jet stream, it would get frozen like a little ice cube on the end of my hand. So something to consider if you're in really cold environments, that one digit's gonna be away from the rest of your hand and it's gonna get cold pretty quickly. Another issue is that if you have trigger shifters or thumb shifters, you're probably going to have interference with a thumb throttle. This isn't always the case, but if you're doing your own electric bike conversion and you have trigger shifters, it's probably a safer idea to go with a twist throttle or a half twist throttle. One other thing that I've found can be an issue with thumb throttles is that when I'm riding off road and there's lots of bumps or you know just lots of uh, rutted out roads or something like that and the handlebars are really bouncing up and down, it can be harder to modulate the thumb throttle because the thumb is also bouncing up and down. With a half twist throttle or a full twist throttle, because the twist is what actually provides the uh, modulation of the throttle and not a pushing, when your handlebars are bouncing up and down, you can maintain more of that um, sort of constant throttle and you don't have it bouncing around the way you might with a thumb throttle. So that sort of leads into uh, half twist and full twist throttles and let's talk about their advantages. Uh, as I already mentioned, they can be easier to modulate on rough terrain, but that's just one of the advantages. Half twist and full twist throttles are sometimes better for people with arthritis or that just don't have as good mobility with their fingers. Because you're using your entire hand to twist the throttle, you don't have to worry about just one thumb getting tired or aching from long straight sections. Now there are people that will say that their wrist gets tired when they use a half twist or a full twist throttle. I find personally that this happens more often with a full twist throttle than a half twist throttle. And this is one of the big differentiators between the two. With a full twist throttle, you really have to maintain that twist with your hand the entire time. So if you're in a long straight section and you're just going full speed, the entire time you're gonna have to use those twisting muscles in your wrist. With a half twist throttle, 
what I found is that you can actually twist the throttle and then with your other fingers grip the rest of the handlebar and that way you're not using your wrist muscles anymore, you're simply using your fingers to hold the uh, twisted part of the grip, the, the half twist of the throttle, in the same place as the rest of the grip, which is stationary. In this way, I found that the half twist throttle is actually better for people who complain about getting hand fatigue because you're not using the wrist muscles, you're simply using the grip that you're already applying to the handlebar to hold the half twist in place. Now, in addition to hand fatigue, another disadvantage to full twist throttles is that they can be more dangerous when you're moving the bike around because if you were to accidentally brush the end of the handlebar against a wall or bump it under a handrail or anything that's just gonna twist it, the bike can take off. Now, this can happen too with a thumb throttle, but it's usually a different situation. It might be where something falls on the bike or you just go to you know, put your hands on the handlebars to move it and you accidentally press it. But because the thumb throttle is more in the center of the handlebar, you're less likely to accidentally bump it into things when you're moving the bike around. A way around this is, of course, to just turn the bike off when you're moving it around, but you know we don't always remember to do that. And so it can be more dangerous if you accidentally bump a twist throttle into something while you're walking it around. One other thing that I've seen, which is a bit more of a rare situation, but sometimes people walk up to an e-bike and think, oh, that's cool, I wanna see it rev, and they'll just twist the throttle while you're sitting on it uh, at rest. And obviously the bike will then just shoot off and people aren't doing this maliciously, but sometimes they just think, oh, cool, a throttle, and they, they wanna twist it for you. And that happens less with the thumb throttle because most people don't realize what that is. So that's sort of how I break down thumb throttles versus half twist versus full twist throttles. In my opinion, personally, I prefer the half twist throttle the best. And the main reason that I prefer it is simply for that sort of DIY cruise control feature where I can turn the throttle and then just grip the handlebar end with the rest of my fingers. And that way I sort of maintain my own cruise control and I'm not using any extra wrist uh, strength. I'm not using, or I'm not getting any more wrist fatigue because I'm just relying on the grip that I already have on the handlebars. Thumb throttles are fine and a lot of people prefer them just because they don't like that twisting sensation. But for me personally, I definitely prefer the uh, half twist type of throttle. And between the full twist and the thumb, I would probably still choose a full twist. Now here's one other bonus thing you didn't ask about Renato, and that is right versus left side throttles. It's becoming increasingly common, though it's still not the majority, to find throttles on the left side of the bike. Obviously right is the standard, it's where they are on motorcycles, and for the longest time it's the only place they were on bikes. But because there is often already a shifter on the right side of the handlebars for the rear gears, lots of companies are starting to put the throttle on the left side of the bike. To be honest, I am not a fan of this. It works and obviously you can get used to it, but because I also ride motorcycles and mopeds and basically all sorts of things, the right side throttle just feels the most natural to me and I much prefer it on the right side of the handlebar. So if you're an OEM e-bike company and you're watching this, please stick to the right side throttle if you can. Left side is just kind of weird for anyone who has gotten used to a normal standard throttle. All right, that's all I have to say about throttles. I'm certainly curious to hear what you guys think. There are probably other advantages and disadvantages that I didn't even think of. So let me know in the comments below which type of throttle you use and why you use it or why you prefer it. And of course, don't forget to put your comments down below for questions. And last but not least, I'm going to choose a randomly selected comment from the comments on my last video to win one of my books. So without further ado, the winning commenter is... Sparkles, who is apparently a man or woman of few words. So thanks for commenting, Sparkles. Just let me know which one of my books you'd like, either DIY Lithium Batteries, DIY Solar Power, The Ultimate Do-It-Yourself E-Bike Guide, or Electric Motorcycles, and let me know where to send it. And anybody else who wants to win one of my books, just please put a comment below. You can say anything you want, and hopefully you will be randomly selected at the end of my next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time.